Hello, my dear little friends. Praise be to Jesus Christ. Let's begin this session by praising God. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Hope you and your family are doing fine. As you are preparing yourself to receive Jesus for the first time, our first lesson is to know about the Jesus who loves children. What is so special about the love of Jesus? You and me and we, the whole mankind is the most beautiful creation of God. And we are a unique miracle of God. We are born of God's love. And so we are perfect in unusual ways. Well, how is that? Let me quickly take you through the story of creation from the Bible. Do you know how much God loves you? Well, in the beginning, there was nothingness all around, but only God. God created the heavens and the earth, the sky, night and day, seasons and years, land and seas, vegetation, livestock, wild animals and fishes, and He said, it was good. Then last of all, God created a masterpiece in his own image, man, male and female. And then on the seventh day, he rested and he said, it was very good. He loved everything he created, but most of all, he loved man. One day, man disobeyed God and lost this paradise. And God sent them down to earth to work and live on their own. But God's love continued to follow man. He still loved the world and so he sent his only son Jesus Christ to save mankind and that is the Jesus Christ we know of. This is God's unconditional love for us. Do you understand now that you belong to Jesus? You belong to God. Even though our earth, on earth we have our parents, family and friends, yet our owner is God, the Creator. Jesus loves everyone. Do you know whom does Jesus love the most? Well, Jesus loves children. As the Holy Scripture says, people were bringing children to Jesus so that he might touch them and bless them. But seeing the huge crowd, the disciples blocked them. Then Jesus said, as written in the Gospel of Mark, Let little children come to me, do not stop them, because it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Let me ask you a question. Who is your best friend? And how many best friends do you have? Is he the one who gives you the most expensive gift? Then, it ought to be Jesus who gave his life for you. The most expensive gift anyone can afford to give, isn't it? Well, there may be many or just one best friend we have. We always like to be in their company, sit close to them, talk to them, about anything and everything. But can they be always around you? No. Yeah. But there is one friend who can be your best friend who will always be with you forever. Now can match this friend and that is Jesus. Only if you allow him to remain. Think for a while. Jesus wants to be your friend. He likes to be with you. He likes to talk to you, help you, bless you, and go all love you. Jesus is the one who will lend his shoulder to cry on, to comfort. Are you ready to allow Jesus to be your best friend? Then open your heart to him. I come, let's sing a Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Okay, let me connect you to the story of Zacchaeus from the Bible. There was a man called Zacchaeus who lived in the city of Jericho. 
He was terribly hated by the Jews as he was the tax collector for the Roman Empire. One day as Jesus came along into the city with his disciples and many people were walking along with Jesus. Zacchaeus had a deep desire to see Jesus. Remember, he had a deep desire to see Jesus. But there was one thing special about Zacchaeus. He was a short man, so he could not get the view of Jesus. What he did was he quickly climbed up to a zycomo tree. It's a strong and hardwood tree to see Jesus passing by. He wanted to have at least a glimpse of Jesus. When Jesus walked along and came close to the tree, he looked up and said, Hey Zacchaeus, come down. Today I must stay in your house. Zacchaeus could believe his eyes. He was so happy. He hurried down the tree and he took Jesus to his house. Imagine how lucky was Zacchaeus, his wife and children who got his unbelievable chance to serve Jesus. They were the best host to Jesus, the Son of God. Can we ever imagine this to happen in our lives? Yes, everything is possible with Jesus. So have that burning desire to see Jesus, meet Jesus and feel Jesus in your heart. Well children, Jesus is constantly knocking at the door of our hearts. He passes by sometimes unheard. Are you ready to receive Jesus into your hearts? Only if you open the door of your hearts can Jesus come in and stay with you. How many times do we invite our friends to our house and enthusiastically open the door to welcome them? Jesus says, I am standing at your door knocking. If you hear my voice, open the door. I shall come in and eat with you and you will eat with me. As written in the book of Revelation. Children, Jesus has a great desire to be with us. He is knocking at our door every moment. Just be silent to hear an answer. There is someone who really cares and that's Jesus. Let's sing along. Someone is knocking at the door. Somebody is the bell. Would you please answer the call and let him come in. Jesus here. Would you please answer the call and let Jesus in? Yes, let Jesus come into your house. So children, let us recall what we have learned. You belong to God the Creator and He loves you unconditionally. It is wonderful to know that we are serving a living Saviour. And so, make Jesus your best friend. Invite Him to stay with you forever. And love God for divine happiness. Well, I know you are on your way to receive the greatest gift from God, Jesus Christ, on your Holy Communion Day. Get ready to open your hearts and welcome Jesus into your lives so that he may lead you in the most meaningful way and commit yourself to Jesus and be thankful for everything and then you can sing along.
and offer our bodies to be under the protection of the Holy Cross. When we make the sign of the cross on our foreheads, we must pray to purify our thoughts. When we make the sign of the cross on our lips, we must pray to sanctify our words. And finally, when we make the sign of the cross on our chest, we must pray that our hearts may be filled with goodness and also offer ourselves to the Holy Trinity. So, let us make the sign of the cross with devotion. In the sign of the Holy Cross, protect us from our enemies, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, remember, our godparents have given us a baptismal name that bears the name of a saint. The reason being this saint will protect us, guide us, and intercede us. So, there's a wee little task for you to do. You have to write 10 sentences in your memory on the patron saint that your baptismal name bears. And don't forget, do it joyfully. Love you, Jesus.